Welcome back to the Voices of Reason show. I'm your host, Skilo Swim, and today we have a very special person in the building. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna let her introduce herself. Hey, how hey, you doing? Hey, I'm Rabia. I'm good, how are you doing? Doing good, <laughs> I appreciate you coming. Oh, thank you for having me, I really appreciate that. Definitely, definitely. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do? So I'm actually a henna tattoo artist. Um, henna is a plant. It's broken down into a powder format, mm. and it's actually used to stain and skin. It's kind of like a tattoo, okay. temporary tattoo. It lasts about one to three weeks. Um, just really depend on what you're doing with your hands, but um, it's really big in my culture and it's really the new trend in fashion nowadays. So um, I'm really, really big on art and creativity. So. I've just kind of turned it into my business. <laughs> definitely, that's the way to go. <laughs> yes, definitely. So I never knew that it was plant-based though. I thought it was. Yes. So like the ink itself is plant-based? Um, so it's actually not ink. It's just okay. a paste. It's a paste. Um, ah. um, so henna is actually a plant. It's all natural. You just break it down into a powder format. Um, you just add water and uh, um, oils like jasmine, um, and it's all natural. So you can apply it to your skin. You can even use it to dye hair, dye clothing. Um, just used for many uses. And just the biggest thing nowadays is just, it's the biggest trend in fashion. And um, you know, people who don't really want a permanent tattoo or scared to get a tattoo, this is the best route to go. <laughs> yeah, because it's painless, right? <laughs> yes, all painless yeah. and all natural. <laughs> yeah, that's a beautiful thing. I seen. I was uh, checking out your pictures that you sent me. Oh, yeah. yeah and I was like, wow, this is amazing. How long have you been doing this? How long have you been practicing? Um, I've actually been doing it since I was 12 years old. Okay, that um, makes sense. Like I said, it's really big in my culture. I'm from Pakistan. Oh, yeah. Um, and we do like kind of for weddings, for religious holidays. It's really, really big, like weddings. We have a full night just to do henna on the entire bridal party. Wow. So um, the bride gets henna done and there's a lot of meanings and rituals behind it when it comes to my culture and the henna stuff. So um, back when I was like 12 years old, my grandpa passed away in Pakistan sorry, and, yeah. oh, thank you. Um, we went back there for like a year and third world country so you don't women don't really get to step out and do they don't have that freedom that you have here in the United States so right, right. Um, it's, I was in the house with my grandpa and stayed in there for a whole year and then when he passed away just we stayed there for a while just to visit family and um, I really got into the henna thing and just sitting there at the house all day doodling my aunt she's actually a professional henna artist mm. and she does bridal henna bridal makeup so she's really the one who got me into it that's dope. That's <laughs> yeah dope. and she does really really detailed work so if you ever seen like on google or anything like that all the henna that's full all the way up the arm up the legs yeah, yeah, she that. does all the detailed creative stuff so i just watching her and just learning how she does that started doodling and really got into it I started doing it all myself at first. And really? Yeah, a lot of my friends were like, hey, that's really nice, can you do it for me? Can you do it for me? A lot of people were just asking me over and over again. So it's like, hey, why not turn it into a business? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. So when did you just start, decide to make it a business? Um, actually, September of last, uh, 16, 2016. Mm. So this will actually be two years coming up in September. Congratulations. Thank you. And it's just been blowing up. And in Omaha, there isn't really that many tattoo artists that do henna. Um, I just know of a few people and a couple of party planning companies that do it, but you don't really see that many henna tattoo artists here. So it's a huge opportunity here. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. So do you do you have like a, a shop or do you just go like when people call you? How, how do you get, how would a person get some henna? Um, so I actually do have an in-home studio at my home. Um, something I do on the side, I have a full-time gig, but this is like my passion. It's just like right. something I do on the side and I love to do it. So um, when I turned it into a business, at first I was, you know, just gonna go, maybe go to a salon and just do it out of a salon. But um, 
sometimes I don't have enough time because I just do it after work and on the weekends. I get really, really busy on the weekends. But um, instead of me doing it at a shop on the weekends, I get really busy for parties and people want me to travel to them, like kids' birthdays mm -hmm. and adult parties. So it doesn't really make sense for me to do it in a shop right now. But right, right. eventually, I think that's my goal is to get to that level where and we'll have a storefront or maybe join a salon or something like that and collaborate with them. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So, okay, you mentioned that like now it's like the trendy thing. What, what are some things that you feel like people should know about the art? Because you said it's a big deal in your culture. So do you feel like something yeah. that people should know like other than just that they like how it looks? Yeah, so actually um, the henna actually designs, some designs actually tell a story. Um, some designs mean things like paisleys are just um, new life for brides, and those are really big on brides when we do henna on bridal parties. Paisleys actually mean new life, and um, in my culture, when we do henna on the bride, um, you actually write in the bride's or the groom's name and hide it in the henna. Oh, so wow. in our culture, it's like um, when the night of the henna, we have a whole night just for henna before the wedding. Um, the groom has to find his name, and it's I guess good luck if he mm -hmm. does. It's gonna it means like the marriage is gonna work, or you know <laughs> it's, it's just a happy life for the couple. And there's just a lot of meanings behind different type of um, henna designs. You know, prosperity, wellness, health, um, just longevity, just m a happy married couple. You know, just there's a lot of meanings behind the designs. And there's different types of henna. So there's like African henna, Egyptian henna, Indian henna. I never knew that. Yeah, it's different type of designs and they all mean things, so. Yeah, I just assumed that it was like a Pakistani thing. It is, it is Pakistani. It's really big in Pakistan and India. Mm -hmm. um, but it all originated actually um, Northern Africa and Asia is where you really see a lot of the henna um, designs and different cultures who do henna. Um, but it's really more so cultural for me and right. cultural aspect. Um, it means more than just fashion to me, you know, yeah, there's definitely. a culture behind it and um, there's reasons behind it why I like to do it, but the artistic piece to it is just another plus, so. Right, right. That's what I like about it too. Yeah. It's, like, it's both fronts, you know, like it has a cultural exactly. meaning, but it looks really good too, because I was looking through the pictures that you sent me. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> man, this art is amazing. Like even on this board, like you're like, wow, like I really liked it, that tree. Oh yeah, that was actually one of my favorite pieces. Um, I did, uh, this girl, she wanted a, a tree on her back. And I'm like, you know, how am I gonna do this tree on her back? So I'm just brainstorming different ideas. And I was like, hey, you know what, for the branches, we'll do the little loops. And yeah. if you look really close onto the picture, um, you'll actually see the um, swirls in the actual tree trunk. So it looks yeah. realistic. And yeah, that's one of my favorite pieces. I want to take a little bit of time. It took about a couple hours. But yeah, it looks like it was worth it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was kind of like tattooing. So you know, if you think about it, a lot of my clients and customers that I get, they either want to get a tattoo or afraid to get it done or it hurts, you know, or they want to see what it looks like before they get it done. Definitely. So that's it's kind of like tattooing and. It's, it's just like a whole new fashion trend. It's turned into a huge fashion trend. And like in Orlando, big cities, you'll, you'll see a henna artist there to do your henna as soon as you get your nails done or in right. salons. So, and I think there's like a couple people here in the mall that do it too, but it's just, it's turning into a huge fashion trend. Yeah, I understand why, because it's beautiful. Yeah, it's definitely. Right. So yeah. So what would be your favorite part? Because you said this is your passion. So what, what makes you passionate about doing it? The designs, different, um, different pieces. I love when my customers bring in something challenging for me to do. Right. And it's crazy because I get a lot of people bring in like tat physical tattoo designs. They're like, oh, I want this done. You know, this, that, it's a tattoo. And I'm like, you know, how am I going to get this done to Hannah? But then I like a challenge. So anything that you can bring to me and I can pretty much do any design. So right. it's, it's more the artistic piece to it, doing different designs and coming up with creative ideas for my clients and and some people they just want me to freehand stuff and I just go at it and it just turns out to be a masterpiece yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah I think that's the best part about it and there's so much opportunity with this business it's like I said there isn't that many people that do it and here in Omaha that I know of but um, it, there's tons of opportunities when it comes to this henna surf so like I said you can extend out to I do birthday parties mm. um, spa parties adult parties um, 
like corporate events, right. um, getting ready to do the summer camp for kids oh, um, in July. Yeah, which is really really neat. I guess they um, it's it's a summer camp that um, helps kids elevate themselves and show leadership and um, it just shows them their beauty and their inner I strength. So I think it was a great addition to it. So I'm really looking forward to that. But yeah, it's it's. It's blowing up, so. Yeah, that's cool. So how, how do people? How can people reach you? Um, you can actually find me on Facebook or Instagram under Henna Life 365. Um, on Facebook, it's the Henna Life 365 by Rabia. Um, it's a little more customized, <laughs> <laughs> um, but you can definitely reach out to me there, or you can uh, reach out to my direct numbers 402-850-5491. It's also on my uh, Facebook and my Instagram page too. So feel free to reach out to me, follow my page, and. Oh, yeah, if definitely. you you know want to get I do private appointments as well too so and like I said any design I can pretty much do so that's dope y'all gonna want to remember that number because what we're gonna do right now is show you a live demonstration of how she gets down with her work so I think that everybody's gonna like it so we'll be right back with that all right I'm ready to see this demonstration too because I'm kind of you know I'm excited to see your work live awesome. so you go ahead and take over. So I'm just going to kind of explain how henna's applied and the process and the staining process, how all that works. I'm just going to do a little quick small piece on him real quick. This is my assistant James. Um, so you kind of see how it's applied. It's just a paste. It's applied to the skin. And I'm just going to do a quick little design on him real quick. A couple little... Okay, I see. And once it's applied to the skin, it's in the paste format. The paste actually dries. If you put heat to it, it's a very good source for the henna. It'll actually make the stain darker and last longer. Um, so once it's applied, it's just the paste format and it dries down. I usually use a blow dryer to dry it down, get it okay. dried a little quicker. Once it's in the dried um, state, it actually starts peeling. Um, once it peels off, you can start seeing the stain underneath. The stain will get darker as the days go, and eventually it'll start fading away okay. after about one to two weeks. So it's supposed to peel? Yes. Okay. So once it starts peeling off, you'll start seeing the stain underneath. Um, and then the final step to is the actual physical stain itself. Um, we did this one yesterday, and here's the actual stain color of this one. Um, and then also we did the one on her foot. Um, that one stained pretty well as well. It's like kind of a dark maroonish color and that stain there will last about one to one to three weeks. Um, once it's stained uh, on your hand then you can kind of embellish it with different diamonds and glitter. I usually do that a lot for kids parties and mm -hmm. the kids love that stuff so um, jazz it up a little bit. But yeah. that's really the main main steps is just applying it, drying it, it starts peeling and then you'll start seeing the stain within a day or two. Wow. So, so how long, like the the, hand, the piece on her hand, how long will something like that take? Or the foot too, that's like beautiful. Um, so the foot, we did that one, took us about like 45 minutes for that. Um, the hand took about 30 minutes and the arm piece took about 15, 20 minutes. That's not bad at all. Yeah. So you just freehand it? You don't have like a tracer or nothing? Um, no, I don't trace anything. I just freehand it all. Um, wow. If I see something really nice, uh, henna designs online, um, I'll try to kind of... Uh, redo it with my own little touch to it, but um, everything I do is freehand, so I don't trace anything. Wow, that's beautiful. You're very talented. Thank you. That is this great. is pretty much the process, and it's pretty simple. And I like to dry it down, especially when I'm doing parties and stuff, because if, you know that allows people to still do what they do for the rest of the day, and it won't mess up their design. Right. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty painless process, and it's beautiful, and it lasts a while. It is, it is definitely beautiful. <laughs> I'm mean, thank you. I appreciate you showing us that. I mean, I, I just love the detail. That's like my favorite. <laughs> that's always been my favorite part. Is like the detail of it, and to that, like you don't have to. Because I mean, if you get a tattoo like that, that's gonna take. You're gonna have to be strong, you know, and it's gonna take a while. Yeah. But you said 30 minutes. That's that's perfect for parties. Yep, 30 minutes. Or I mean, the biggest party I did was about 20 kids so far, and. It took about two to three hours, so it wasn't that bad. Um, for parties, I might do something a little bit smaller design-wise, but detail is usually always there. Um, oh, yeah. And yeah, it's kind of like a tattoo, like you said. 
I mean, a lot of I people. Like it better. Yeah, it's really nice. And the nice thing is, you can change your design all the time. So, yeah. a lot of my clients, you know, they come back over and over again, especially in summertime. It's big in the summertime. People want to show off their head of tattoos when they go swimming, and and actually, it'll even last through water for a few days. Eventually, water will start making a fade away, but it'll even last through that. So you can go in the water, and your stain will still be there. Oh yeah, definitely. That's beautiful. I'm glad you came and showed us that. I really appreciate y'all coming out and y'all lovely model. <laughs> you know, and it's from Model Cheyenne. And sports. They're amazing. So thank you for the opportunity. I really appreciate oh, that. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm glad you came. Thank you. And uh, appreciate y'all. Definitely. It's a pleasure to meet y'all. <laughs> so, you know, that's what we do, y'all. Let me get out the shot. No, I don't want to be in the shot. Okay, I'll be in the shot. <laughs> So y'all gotta reach out. Let them know your uh, phone number and the ways to contact you again before yeah, we get out. Definitely. So you can either text or call me anytime, 402-850-5491. Um, you can also reach out to me via Facebook and Instagram, Henna Life 365 um, Very quick about responding. So reach yeah. out, leave me an inbox or DM and I'll get back to you fairly quickly. And actually, if you go follow and like my page, Next couple of people who follow like my page after seeing this, just inbox me. Let me know you saw me on TV. I'll probably give out a couple of free henna sessions too. Oh yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, I want to appreciate. I want to let you know I appreciate you coming through and that you're welcome anytime to come. So if you got a fan or something like that you want to showcase, just let me know and you're always welcome to come back. Awesome. Well, thank you. I really appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it was thank a great you. meeting you again too. Me too. It's a pleasure. <laughs> so with that, we're gonna say peace until next time. Yeah, that's it. Peace. <laughs>